do it. And what he has done for me. My very soul, my very soul shall shout. Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for He cares for you. Cast your problems unto Jesus, for He cares for you. Cast your problems unto Jesus, for He cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus. the Lord. Hallelujah. Encounter with the God of wonders. In the book of Acts chapter 10 verse 38, the Bible tells us how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. God is with us tonight. God is with our Father in the Lord tonight, and tonight God is going to heal all who are oppressed of the devil in Jesus' name. But before our Father in the Lord comes up to minister, please join me to welcome our guest artist for tonight, Jonathan Lee, as he leads us in praise and worship. God bless you. Welcome to day five of the Global Crusade. Thank you, Dr. Pastor Kumiye. The theme this week is divine encounters with the God of miracles. Will you stand and will you sing out and worship with us? There's joy in the house of the Lord. Amen.
We worship the God who was. We worship the God who is. We worship the God who evermore will be. He opened the prison doors. He parted the raging sea. My God, He holds the victory. There's joy. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is sure the end this place. We won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise. We shout out of your praise. We sing. We sing to the God who heals. We sing to the God who saves. We sing to the God who always makes a way. Cause he hung up on that cross and he rose up from that grave. My God still rolled and stole the way. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. We won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise. We worship the God who was. We worship the God who is. We worship the God who evermore will be. He opened the prison doors. He parted the raging sea. My God, He holds the victory. There's joy. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is sure the end this place. We won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise. We shout out of your praise. We sing. We sing to the God who heals. We sing to the God who saves. We sing to the God who always makes a way. Cause he hung up on that cross and he rose up from that grave. My God still rolled and stole the way. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. We won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise. We were the beggars. Now we're royalty. We were the prisoners. Now we're running free. We are forgiven. Accepted, received by His grace, let the house of the Lord sing praise. We were the beggars, now we're royalty. We were the prisoners, now we're running free. We are forgiven, accepted, received by His grace, let the house of the Lord sing praise. Come on, there's joy. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. We won't be quiet. We shout out of your praise. We shout out of your praise. We shout out. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here where we are. We give you praise. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence, 
I've tasted and I've seen. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord, Holy Spirit. worth more there's nothing worth more that will ever come close no thing can compare you're our living hope your presence Tasted and seen of the sweetest of love when my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord, your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us, let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your let us become let us become more aware of your presence let us experience the glory of your goodness holy spirit Your presence, Lord. Nimue, 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 Sí. 
sing it one more time. Nimwe mwe ka. Nimwe mwe ka. Nimwe mwe ka. Jete ke la. Father, we speak in the name of Jesus over every situation. We speak life. There's power in the name of Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus And I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom, I speak Jesus. Your name is power. Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every strong. just want to speak the name of Jesus over fear, over fear and all anxiety. To every soul held captive by depression, I speak Jesus. Your name, your name is Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy, Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus, shout Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountain, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness, over every enemy, oh, and Jesus for my family, I speak.
from the mountains Jesus in the streets Jesus in the darkness so oh, for every enemy Jesus for my family I speak the holy name Jesus shout Jesus Shout Jesus from the mountain, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness, over every enemy, oh, and Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus, your name. is for you the needs of pain but you might have feel there is ways to gain there is healing deliverance freedom from boats of satan oh yeah just in case yes yeah, so bring your case come on everybody take your place come and experience for me saving grace no matter your color no matter your race Mama, Papa, they come. Walk a wine, be ya. Mutu mata so o. Baba, ya ewa. Salvation is freedom, it's a day. All the shame will run away. Oh, 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 yeah. It is. There is feeling, deliverance, freedom from hopes of Satan. The gospel to every creature. GCK 
gospel to every creature. Sickness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Blindness, deafness, darkness, come out in Jesus' name. Swelling, goiter, fibroid, elephantiasis, come out in Jesus' name. HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, cancer, ulcer, come out in Jesus' name. Sickness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Blindness, deafness, dumbness, come out in Jesus' name. Swelling, goiter, fibroid, elephantiasis, come out in Jesus' name. HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, cancer, ulcer, come out in Jesus' name. to thank the Lord. It's time to worship the Lord. Great things has the Lord done in our midst. Lift up your voice as we worship the Lord. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. Wherever you are, please, this is the time to get insight as we are spending some time in prayer. We want to thank the Lord and to bless the Lord. We have witnessed with our own eyes many that the Lord has redeemed in this particular place, in the Alpha location, online, and globally in all the places where GCK is taking place globally. Every continent, let's bless the Lord and let's worship the Lord. Thousands of souls have given their life to the Lord. And this has been the doing of the Lord. It's been marvelous in our eyes. Let's worship the Lord. Let's bless the Lord. We're appealing to all the people that are still moving up and down. You are outside. Find yourself 
inside. We are spending some time to pray. We are preparing ourselves for tonight. Great things will the Lord be able to accomplish tonight. Let's talk to the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear a louder amen? We now want to commit this place in the hands of the Lord. We want to pray that this particular place, a place of divine encounter with the God of miracles. We want to talk to the Lord. The Lord, we want your presence tonight. We want your presence in this particular place. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. We are talking to the Lord. We are preparing ourselves that tonight the Lord will touch you. Remember, we just have a day to go. And so we want to talk to the Lord. Tonight is my night. Talk to the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. It's time to ask. The Bible says, you have not because you do not ask. Ask of the Lord, what's your desire? It's time to call upon the name of the Lord. Remember the question, what would thou that I should do unto thee? That's the question that is coming to you from the Lord. Be specific. Tell the Lord exactly what you want him to do for you. Those who are still outside, it's time to come inside. We are preparing ourselves. We are emptying ourselves before the Lord. All our vessels, that the Lord will fill them tonight. There is a miracle with your name attached to it. Talk to the Lord, prepare yourself. The question is, what will thou that I should do unto thee? What do you want the Lord to do for you? Tell the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. All things are ready. We now want to lift up our Father and the Lord, the convener of GCK, that tonight the Lord will prepare him. Tonight the Lord will grant him fresh anointing that the heavens tonight are going to open up. Let's lift up the servants of the Lord. Our Father in the Lord, the convener of GCK, pray and talk to the Lord. Through him, the
the Lord will minister to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us thank the Lord and bless the Lord. The Lord has heard our prayers. Let's worship him. Let's bless him. Let's adore him. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we want to thank you and we want to bless you. We want to glorify your holy name. We surrender the entire meeting, almighty God, before you, that you lead us and you guide us by your spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. I welcome you to this moment and this session. We want to worship our God. This is day five. And tonight, if you remember yesterday, last evening, what the Lord did, he did great things. Tonight, greater things will happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Join me as we worship this King of Kings who does great things past finding out. Amen. Amen. Oh. Come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me hear your amen. Hallelujah. We're going to praise the Lord, for there is none like unto our God. There is no one like Jesus, the miracle maker. Amen. Amen. Let's clap our hands. Thank you. 
Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for He cares for you. Cast your problems unto Jesus, for He cares for you. Cast your problems unto Jesus, for He cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus. to Jesus, for he cares for you. Higher, higher. Let's rise up as we pray together. Wherever you are, we rise up. We want to appeal to those that are still outside. Please find yourself inside. We are starting. Let us pray together. Our Father, we want to bless you and we want to glorify your holy name. We want to thank you, Almighty God, even for the way that you've been seeing us through this particular GCK. We started on the first day, and here we are, O oh Lord, on the fifth day. Great and mighty are the things that you have accomplished. And Almighty God, we want to return the glory to you in Jesus' name. We want to magnify your name, Almighty God, for the blessings in heaven are many. And this particular day, O oh God, as we come, we know that there's still plenty to be done in our lives. We want to give you the glory. We want to give you the praise. Thank you, Almighty God, for answering our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We remain standing as we sing together. We want to take our congregational song. We want to turn to page four of our program. 
Oh, how I love Jesus. Page four of our program. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing. It's worthy. It sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name on earth. It tells me of a Savior's love who died to set me free. It tells me of his precious blood, the sinner's perfect flee. It tells me what my father has in store every day. And though I tread a darksome path, yield sunshine all the way. It tells of one whose loving heart can feel my deepest war, who in each sorrow bears a part that none can bear below. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me.
Welcome, day five, divine encounter with the God of miracles. Indeed, our God has been good. Already we have seen the sick healed, blind eyes opened, the lame walking, and of course, multitudes have experienced the divine encounter of the miracle of salvation. Let's just lift our voices and just bless God for his faithfulness and his goodness. Let us begin to pray. I want you to thank God. Our God has been good for all the miracles, for the greatest of testimonies, the testimony of salvation, for all those God has touched. Just worship the name of the Lord. Just thank God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I just want us to still bless God for his faithfulness. Over these couple of years that we've been having the GCK, God has preserved our leader. He has preserved the general superintendent. His eyes has not waxed dim. His strength has not abated. God has helped him and used him to reach millions all over the globe. Let's just worship the name of the Lord. Father, Lord, we just worship you. Thank him. Thank God for what he has done. Thank him for the lives that have been touched. Thank him for the souls that have been saved. Thank him for everybody who has been impacted one way or the other through the global crusade with Kumui. Just worship the name of the Lord. Just bless the name of the Lord because our God is faithful. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let's hear a global amen. Now the gospel of Matthew, according to Matthew chapter 24, verse 14 says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And already we have seen this in our lifetime from Mushubu all the way to Agwamosho, going from Ghana all the way to Togo, and now right here in Zambia, this gospel has been preached and has been released into the lives and the homes of millions around the world. Let's just bless the name of the Lord for the global reach of the gospel of Christ. I want you to just thank God. This indeed is only the Lord's doing. Only he could have brought this to pass. Just worship the name of the Lord. For all those who can now hear the gospel of Christ and the convenience of their homes, of their rooms, in their local churches, the undiluted word of God has been ministered by the man of God. Just bless the name of God. Just thank him. Just worship him. Just praise him. In Jesus' name we pray. Another global amen. Now we're going to pray for the global reach of the gospel. You see, we are privileged that where we are, we can hear the gospel of Christ. But do you know, there are still those countries that broadcasts like these are being censored. And the people are hindered from hearing this truth of the gospel. We are going to pray for open doors. That God will bring open doors to those countries. Uh, that the curtains, the iron curtains that have stood to withstand the gospel will be Pull down. We are going to pray for the communist nations. We are going to pray for China. We are going to pray for Russia. Let's lift up Cuba into the hands of the Lord. Let's raise up an altar for North Korea. That the curtains, the hindrances to the gospel will be pulled down. That there will be open doors. That there will be open doors. Let us pray a great door of effectual is open. But there are many adversaries. Let's pray that the adversaries will be pulled down, that all the powers that be, those powers will be destroyed. Let us pray. Just commit those countries into the hands of the Lord. Commit those souls they too deserve to hear. Pray that the Lord will have mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. 
In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now I want us to pray for a general superintendent. The Lord has been faithful and been good to him and has been good to us as a church. At his age, over 80 years, he's still as strong, he's the, his voice is still as powerful, and the anointing is still coming forth as great. Through the man of God, let's just pray that the work God has started in his life, the Lord will perfect it, that his eyes will not dim that his strength will not will, 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 will not wane, that God will continue to use him, that the anointed will continue to be strong and powerful in his life, that as he ministers, that the ministration will go forth with power, will go forth with anointing, that even more people, more souls will be changed and transformed through his ministration. Let's just pray, commit the man of God into the hands of the Lord, that the Lord will continue to use him mightily. That the Lord, the, the angels of God will lift him up. Will protect him. Will preserve him for us. And preserve him for the work of God. Just thank God. Just pray to God. That his labor will not be in vain. That he will live to see the fruits of all his labor. That no one of the combats that God has given him will be lost that we will all run this race to the end, that he will see many more global crusades, that the Lord will take him beyond Africa, to Asia, to the Americas, to Europe, round the world, to the Antarctica, to the places where the gospel have not been reached, that the gospel through the man of God will enter there, that the Lord will use him to break down barriers, as God's battle axe and weapon of war. Let's just pray that the hand of the Lord will be mighty upon him. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now I want us to pray for all the ministers of God who are experiencing the power of God at this crusade. Let's pray that the Lord will touch them, that the Lord will fill them, that the Lord will equip them and prepare us and prepare them for the work he has for them. Let us pray. Commit the ministers of God into the hands of the Lord. That the ministers' conference, there will be an outpouring of the Spirit. There will be an outpouring of the power of God. There will be an outpouring of the anointing. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Another global amen. I want us to pray for all the participants. We are going to pray that there will be divine encounters indeed. That even today, day number five, that there will be global encounters. That all over the globe, from the shores of Lagos, right here in Zambia, all the way to the Americas, to Europe, let's pray that there will be encounters everywhere. That there will be shouts of joy as people experience the power of God. Let us pray. I want you to pray that the gospel will touch the hearts and lives of men and transform them. That all those who are logged in, all those who, who are plugged in, will experience divine encounter with the God of miracles. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Another global amen. Now pray for yourself that you will not be left behind. That you will not just see with your eyes. You will experience. You will experience it for yourself. You will not just hear other testimonies with your ears. You will testify yourself with your lips. I want you to pray for yourself. Ask God. God can do it. He's a faithful God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Father, we just thank you. We worship you for all that you have done. We thank you for day five of divine encounter with the God of miracles. Because you are still doing great things. Visit your people, O oh God, this day. I pray beginning here in Zambia. O oh Lord, to all over Africa. 
to Asia, to the Americas, to Europe, oh God. Let the gospel of Christ spread. Bring salvation and healing to your people. Thank you, Father, for global encounters. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. You can take your seats. Once again, we want to bless the Lord and want to worship the Lord. We want to thank the Lord that by God's grace, we are now in the fifth day of our GCK in this Alpha location, Lusaka, Zambia, and then online and uh, various locations globally. We want to remind ourselves that uh, the crusade continues tomorrow. And tomorrow will be the last day. Can I hear last day? And you know, normally the last day is a great day. And so we want to make sure that we prepare ourselves against tomorrow. And then want to make sure that as we go tonight, let's still extend that invitation to our colleagues workmates, uh, people that are around, to make sure that tomorrow they will also have the opportunity to receive the great things that the Lord has been doing. We also want to remind all the convents from the first day to this particular night, as many as are going to give their lives tonight, and those that have given their lives in the past four days, there is a convert's rally. There's a special uh, banquet that takes place every day. And tomorrow at 15 hours, we'll be meeting in that particular place where the uh, choir is using. That is a special meeting which is called Lunch Hour with Jesus. Make sure that if you've given your life to the Lord, don't miss because there's a special package from uh, the, our Father in the Lord, the convener of the GCK. Make sure that you are there so that you can be able to receive, you can be able to get your own package. That package will not be given to someone else unless you attend. So make sure that you are there. We also want to remind ourselves of the Believer's Banquet, which will be taking place on the first of October. This will be a Sunday. This will be taking place in our headquarters church in Kamwala. That is behind Kamwala High School. You'll be given the details as you attend the lunch hour with Jesus uh, tomorrow. I mean tomorrow at uh, 15 hours. We also want to remind ourselves that tomorrow is the last day for the ministers and professional workers, whatever you are doing in the church, and you also desire to serve the Lord, tomorrow is the last day. We had already two days, and great things has the Lord done. Yesterday, I'm sure you were here. You know, when we attend that particular meeting, most of the people think, okay, I'm just going for just for ministry. Someone was able to testify last night as we were in that particular place, as the Lord was ministering to us to exceed all limits in our lives, in our careers, in our profession, in whatever that we are doing. The Lord touched someone and she got healed. So you can see what the Lord is doing. He's taking us higher. So make sure that please, you are there tomorrow, eight hours in the morning, Central African time. We'll be meeting at uh, Mulungushi Conference Center, the KK uh, wing, which is the new wing. So please make sure that you prepare ourselves, and also let's invite others. That last day also will be a great day. The Lord has prepared a package for each and every one of us. Thank you very much, and God bless you.
It's a Bible scene you may be all too familiar with. Here was Jesus at the well with a woman who did not know the truth about God, but she was pretty curious to learn how to worship God. As the conversation grew more interesting, she received an unexpected revelation of her true state. It was when Jesus uttered these immortal words, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Spiritual worship, true worship, word-based worship, filled with rich theology and exultant praise. True worship is God-directed, heavenly-focused, Christ-exalting, spirit-inspired. It is the overflow of a grateful heart to a great God who does all things well. At that well, Christ quenched her thirst with the waters of everlasting life. So today, on this fourth day of our wonderful crusade, come with a true heart, a tender heart, a trusting heart. And as we come on this day to worship and sing to our grateful God, let's sing for joy as we bring to you choir from states and regions and nations across the globe. shame could not get past my blame until you caught my name i'm so glad he changed me darkness held me down and jesus opened my eyes and i'm no longer bad i'm so glad he changed me see i now a new creation
Smile.